Today's Bible study is titled, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Understanding your position in Christ is essential in order to make any real spiritual progress after salvation. Example, you cannot grow in what you do not know. Today's scripture reading emphasizes this quite well. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5 verses 20 to 21. Let's break this down. Often you'll hear folks say that when you are saved, God now sees you as righteous, and when he looks at me, he sees Jesus. This is good, but it falls short of the full truth of what God has done for those who are in Christ, in simple belief by grace through faith. Knowing from 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, and that God hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, having given us the ministry of reconciliation. Paul follows this up with the logical conclusion that is verses 20 to 21. By this, believers are ambassadors for Christ. Example, authorized representatives with a message and offer to convey. And as reconciled ambassadors, what is the message we've been commissioned to share? Today's verses answer this question quite clearly as it is to proclaim in Christ's stead that others may be reconciled to God in the same way we have been. And if Paul had stopped right there, it would be quite incredible. But he didn't as he went on to describe just what that reconciliation would entail, an incredible change of standing before a righteous God. In the process of provision for this reconciliation, God the Father made God the Son, Jesus Christ, the righteous one who had never known sin in any way, to actually be sin for us. Why would God the Father do this? Two things I'll point out in this regard are, number one, because the payment for sin had to be made. God's righteousness demanded that all sin be judged. And in making God the Son, one who in righteousness knew no sin, to become sin for us, God the Father then poured out his wrath and judgment upon him so he would not have to pour it out on us. God the Father literally placed the sins of the entire world, past, present, future, upon his righteous Son and judged him in our stead. Number 2. Because God wanted eternal fellowship with his creation, but the creation must be made righteous for that to happen. Not just seen as righteous, but made righteous. So he made Jesus to be sin for us that he might declare us, not just see us, the righteousness of God in him. Note that this depends upon one being in Christ, as that is the only way it was accomplished. Believer, when you had simple belief of God's gospel of grace, 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4, by grace through faith he saved you, Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9. As a result, when the Father beholds you, You are one whom he has placed in union with his Son and thereby he knows you as one that he has righteously declared righteous in Christ. Again note that this depends upon you being in Christ as that is the only way God could be righteous in declaring you righteous. This is almost too much for our simple human minds to comprehend but it is the truth. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.